Correlation is really just a way of saying that if one thing is large, then another thing tends to be large or small as well. I'll show you an example. Here's a scatter plot of movies, and each point corresponds to one movie. On the x-axis you can see the movie's length in minutes. This movie, for example, is 60 minutes long, this one is 80 minutes long. And on the y-axis you can see a rating of the movie, 0 to 5 stars. This movie here, for example, is really bad, it just has 1.2 stars. And this movie here is really good, it has 5 stars. Okay, you can kind of see that, at least according to this data set here, the longer movies tend to get the higher ratings. And in that case we'd say, at least according to this data set, there's a positive correlation between movie length and rating. However, if the trend would be reversed, like here, you can see that the longer movies tend to get the worse ratings. And then we'd say that there's a negative correlation between length and rating. Now the correlation coefficient is the single number between minus 1 and 1 that expresses this kind of trend. And it gives you two pieces of information. For one it tells you is the trend negative or positive. So is it upwards or downwards. If the trend is positive, then the correlation coefficient will be positive as well. It'll be between 0 and 1. But if the trend is downwards, then the correlation coefficient will be negative as well. It'll be between 0 and minus 1. But then there's a third case, and that's that the trend is exactly level. So in this data set you can see that the rating doesn't really seem to change with the movie's length. So then the correlation coefficient is zero. And the second thing the correlation coefficient tells you is, how good would a straight line be at describing your data? For example, in this plot all the points lie really close to a straight line. And in that case we'd say that the correlation is strong. This slope is positive, so it's a positive correlation, and the coefficient turns actually out to be 0.92 in this case, and that's really big. But in this example here, the points are scattering a lot around the line, and then we'd say that the correlation is weaker. It's actually just 0.46 in this example. So the correlation coefficient's magnitude tells you how well your data scatters around a straight line. Okay, there are two things which are important to watch out for, because it's easy to misinterpret the correlation coefficient. For one, the correlation coefficient doesn't tell you if your data is representative. Maybe in my example I only showed you really weird and non-representative movies, so just because I observed a big correlation coefficient in these movies' data, I can't conclude that I'll see something similar in other movies as well. And then, you have to watch out not to confuse correlation with causation. Just because the longer movies happen to get the higher ratings, you can't say that movie length causes movie to be better. For example, it might have to do something with genre. Maybe a lot of the shorter movies are documentaries, because documentaries tend to have shorter runtimes. But also documentaries might be less popular with audiences because they are less entertaining, and so they get fewer stars. So that's why in our data set, the shorter movies tend to get the worse ratings. There could be all kinds of reasons why you see this correlation. But the correlation coefficient itself really just tells you that in your data set two things, like movie length and rating, coincide but it's not telling you anything about what causes this coincidence. Okay, to finish up, the correlation coefficient gives you a summary of the overall trend in a scatter plot in a single number between minus 1 and 1. Its sign tells you if the trend is upward or downwards, and its magnitude tells you if your data lies tight around a straight line, in that case the magnitude is large, or if it scatters a lot and then the magnitude is small. And in the next video I'll show you how the correlation coefficient actually does all these things in three simple steps.